Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Luke chapter 6, and today we're down to verse 20. And that's when Jesus preaches this great Sermon on the Mount, this message that sometimes is called the Beatitudes, attitudes that human beings ought to have if they're going to live in peace and enjoy a life of blessedness. And so Jesus is explaining how to live the blessed life, even on earth, despite circumstances, despite people, despite problems or difficulties or tragedy, we can still be blessed. We can be happy. Yes, we can be happy despite what happens in an election, what happens despite what happens at the work, what happens in our neighborhood, what happens in our family. We can enjoy a peace and a complete peace and happiness inside that only God can give us because that doesn't come from circumstances, but it comes from the God that we have inside of us, given us that comfort and peace, despite the hurt, the pain, the suffering. And so Jesus lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said, blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner their fathers did to the prophets. And so you can already see that even to most people looking at this, they'd say, wow, those are difficult circumstances. Those are difficult problems. And yet Jesus is blessed are. And that word blessed actually means happy. Happy are those who understand that real life, real joy, real peace, real fulfillment, real success doesn't come from getting or having. It comes from being. And the only way to have a right being is to be in a right relationship with Jesus Christ in your heart. The Bible teaches us from within, out of the heart of man, proceeds evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, pride, blasphemy. These things proceed from the heart, and that's what, what defiles the man. And Jesus said, a good tree brings forth good fruit, an evil tree brings forth bad fruit. And so the same thing happens in a person. God doesn't look on what's on the outside. He looks at the heart because He knows it's the heart that produces what we do. Going to heaven is not based on what we do. It's based on what's already been done through Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. And we, by faith, have the opportunity to receive Him as our Lord and Savior. And then He comes in us. He gives us a new heart. And the old heart is still there. But my friend, we have a new heart. The Holy Spirit controls. And we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit within us. And then we produce fruits of righteousness that brings peace and pleasure to God and also brings us real joy despite what's going on around us. So it's up to us. It's our choice. Do we want to live a blessed life or do we want to live a life full of misery and hurt and pain, complaining, griping, criticizing, and just living a life that has really no purpose or meaning? It's your choice. And today I choose to take the blessed life that Jesus prescribes for us in this passage. And I love it. And we'll be talking about how to have the blessed life. And it depends on our attitudes. Attitude is everything. It's even in a football game, it's the attitude of the players that will determine the outcome of the game. It's the attitude of the workers that determine the, what happens at the factory, in the office, or wherever it's at. In the church, in the Sunday school class, attitude. Get one person with a bad attitude. Man, it could spoil the whole group, I'm telling you. And so, my friend, today, let's ask God to help us have the right kind of attitude in Christ Jesus and enjoy the blessed life every day, every moment of every day, despite what happens in this world around us. Well, God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.